Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Mario World. I'm Pwnjop135, and in the last episode, we finished off Vanilla Dome. You know, with Vanilla Fortress and a disappointing attempt at that secret at Vanilla Secret number one. This episode, we're going to be going through the, uh, the bridge areas. Another short, breezy section, so let's go and start with Butter Bridge number one. And it is another auto scrolling stage. So you gotta be careful. Now, these platforms will seesaw. So, once again, be careful. Oop. No, um, not. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna worry about it, and then I worry about it. Oh no! Well, there goes my safety net. Climb. All right, that was pretty. That was pretty easy. Sorry if I'm not doing a lot of commentating. I'm just kind of focusing because of crap like that. tried to catch the shell I was going to use it to get some bonus points at the at the field gate <sighs> take two If I didn't grab the shell, I would have had a one up. Or close to it. time I'm gonna let the shell go or not and on the platform right. and that's what happened if you don't collect enough uh, coins throughout the level I right, got a free one up to Butter Bridge number two. Back, uh, the return of Super Koopas. Right. 
Oh, come on. Ooh. Jerk. Ooh. I've had it up to here with you, mister. Um... Ah. Right. Yeah, again, sorry if I'm not commentating, I just I'm trying to focus. Come down here. Now here Oh, come on, grab on. Grab onto these things, you know, with up. We can ride them for coins. This is a mechanic you have to learn for later, so. And if you know, you know, and if you don't, well, you're about to learn. Oh, come on. All right. And that leads to Ludwig's castle, but um, and we're not going to fight Ludwig just yet. Um, I'll see you guys at the next bridge. Now we've got Cheese Bridge area, so let's go ahead and start it. First off, we're gonna gonna be bouncing between three platforms, dodging these chainsaws, which we can drill jump them, you know, to get past them. But I'm not gonna do that. I've done enough risky plays for the day that I'm just trying to play it safe. All right. Oh, I wanted that. Eventually these platforms are going to give way, but if we stick with the upright one, we get a shot at that. Uh, here is a pair of wings. We need Yoshi to ride these wings. Fortunately, we don't have Yoshi Meister, so we're just going to go down this pipe. If we traverse here, we get just one random cross shot of bullet bills and this is the mechanic I was telling you that you about to learn about oh yeah those last two thud uh, those two thuds that you heard were me face palming myself that was stupid all right, all right those are wings dodge these saws like this is some real Donkey Kong Country crap alright 27 we're gonna go to the bonus game once again Look at that. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. Well, we hit the per uh, 
perfect and if we want to get that second area we got to come back with Yoshi All right, next Cookie Mountain which is the official area of this of the name of this area is Cookie Mountain here we have more Monty Moles and Sumo Brothers That's the only way to take them out, is to hit the block underneath them. But be careful, because when they stomp down, they shoot down a lightning bolt. I'll be taking this. Oops. Well, that wouldn't have been enough. So, uh, we're going to... Yeah, okay, we, we kind of cheated this because there was going to be a uh, beanstalk. As you can hear, there's a sumo brother down there that's not too thrilled with us being up here. Okay. Oh no, we come out of this, of that pipe. Not this pipe. Ah, uh, this pipe. Well, not. Gotta progress. Yeah, and it's hard to take those guys out, so I wouldn't worry too much about them if I were you. Right. So take us up to the top of here where we can get a free life. Go down this pipe. And we've essentially got to go left and avoid the porky puffer two of them and then it brings us up here ready to fly again. Ooh, dirty and we get our old pal yosh back This one, yes, we eat this, we get a cloud, which gives us happy coins. Right. It needs to hurry up because I'm running out of time here. Here we have piranha plants that spit fireballs. Alright, and if we stick around just long enough with it, it will give us a free life. Here we have more Sumo Brothers. And, yeah, let's go here. 21. <laughs> Weep. Bam, whip. All right. Now, through this way, we can go fight Ludwig. But I actually want to attempt the secret at Cheese Bridge. We're going to need Yoshi for this. So I will see you guys where I want us to be. Here we are at the checkpoint for wings. Going to use Yoshi. and For some reason, he turns blue this time. And we have unlimited wings, and we can soar. Just got to watch out for the, buzzy, uh, the fuzzies. Let's call them. I'm going to leave the area because I completely balls that up and I'll see you guys back at the checkpoint. Back at the checkpoint, we're going to ignore the wings. And we're just going to uh, progress to the stage as normal. Now you might be wondering to yourself, how are we going to progress with Yoshi if we can't you know, climb? <sighs> Get ready for something that's going to test your skills and patience. Because we got to... Run jump here. Bounce off these chainsaws. Go under the goal. 
ditch Yoshi, like all the memes say. Get this moon, which is a three up. And we get a secret field goal. And that will take us to Soda Lake. Where we have the first and only introduction of Torpedo Ted's. You can't bounce on them. You can't use fire. And you can't cape them. Just juke them. Torpedo Ted's are essentially an invulnerable version of Bullet Bills. You know, except for they're built for water. Crap. You know, if I can make it to the checkpoint without dying, that would be amazing. I'm, I'm not even worried about dragon coins anymore. Oh. Boo. Alright, we're going to try that again. I just skirted death right there. Oh. Yeah, there's going to be a lack of commentary because I'm focusing. This mushroom is the only safety net for miles. Uh oh. Oh. Dang it, just a little bit more room. And I could have just squeezed through. <sighs> Nutmeg. it again. Alright, we're gonna... <sighs> Eventually I'll get this. Too low. <clears throat> All right. Once again. Nope. Okay. All right. Dang it. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, all right. <sighs> Finally, got through that level. And hit a 28. All right. And for our troubles of completing Soda Lake, we get... The next Star Road point. But once again, we'll be tackling Star Road later. Um, for now... We're going to be trying our hand at Ludwig at Castle Number 4. Right. So the first room in Ludwig's castle is a narrow hallway where they pull some dirty tricks like that. Ah! Again. All right. You can drill jump these. Oof. There's always going to be a mushroom right there. So. And here, the ceiling is closing in on us. And we gotta hit the switch. Now, if you're good at short hops, you can buy yourself a couple of seconds. Here, we just gotta haul mass all the way to the end. Get through that door. And here we have another grate to deal with. But if we come over to the right, this will always be a power-up. So... I thought that guy was on the other side of the wall. Ooh. Right. And if I... No, I'm not going to see what's down there. Ah! Oh. Alright, let's go in with, with no power. Now, Ludwig not only has a distinction. Mother lover. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Not only does Ludwig have the shortest of the shortest area, you know. By unseasoned players of this game but he also has the distinction of being the most unique Koopa Kid in a Koopa Kid boss fight and I'll get to get to that when I get back to his room Try not to lose it this time. All right, here we are, Ludwig's door. Anyway, he's got the most unique boss fight in this game. Because you hit him, he'll turn into a shell, and then spring at you. Spec him again. And we can drill jump his shell, but he'll kick us off. And... Oh. 
But yes, he has the most unique boss fight because all the other Koopa kids are ba like their boss fights are cut, cut and paste with like minor adjustments. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. The forest of illusion lies ahead. Mario must use his brain to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. Poor Mountain. Alright. You heard the... You heard the narration. Next time on Super Mario World, we're going to be going through the Forest of Illusions. See you guys next time.